day 26 and I'm over halfway done. It does feel different psychologically, even though I've got a long way to go, but it does feel different to be over halfway done. It feels kind of like I'm going downhill. Oh, wait a minute, I am going downhill. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's kind of a, it is kind of a different feeling. So I still have almost 700 kilometers to go, but it's gonna be, it's gonna go well. I feel, when I started this trip, I had maybe a, I don't know, thought maybe I had a two and three chance of success, but I'm gonna up that to not a 90%. I think I've got this. <laughs> Famous last words. Up this morning and it was drizzling a little bit. It's a little bit chilly. Felt so good inside of the sleeping bag. It's very tempting to sleep in, but I got myself got myself out of the bag and packed up, and I'm so glad I did. Even though there's no spectacular views, but just the stillness and and the I don't know majesty of these Romanian forests is wonderful at this early hour. Another thing is knowing that you're not at the top of the food chain out here. It's another thing that adds a little, a little bit of spice to it. Well, not five minutes after I said the thing about uh, not being at the top of the food chain, I saw my fourth bear. <clears throat> he um, just saw him running away. Just saw I get the tail end of him. I'm glad I got that one on video, though. <laughs> you guys think I was making all this up. But yeah, it's... It's definitely a different feeling knowing that there's an animal out here that uh, has as much power as the brown bear. And what a fine view this is to have in the morning. This town, I believe, is pronounced Shekamika. That's what I'm heading down to next. Who knows, maybe they'll even have some breakfast. So yeah, you gotta watch your step a little bit on this bridge. Ooh. Actually, more than a little bit. Mamma mia, even the boards that are on here, many of them are quite unstable. It's a long way down, too. Ah, the rest of it's easy. I just wanted to give you a sense of the effort involved in getting up this hill outside of uh, Valle Lunga, which I guess means Long Valley. But they, uh, they warned about it a little bit in the guidebook, and and we're kidding. It rains some, so the the trail is muddy and it gets so slippery. So probably camp up here somewhere, and then tomorrow head down. Apparently, the hill on the other side is even worse. 
So I'm hoping it doesn't rain anymore and it dries out, but we'll see. I went in to get my stamp uh, at a guest house back in Valle Alunga, and they fed me for uh, no charge or anything. They fed me delicious soup and I had tea and he offered me schnapps, but didn't want to take him up on that. And well, I'll have to bike and back back up this big hill. It's hard enough as it is. So yeah, just again, more of that Romanian hospitality. Love it. Yeah, I've shown you this mud before, but I'm trying to get up that hill, it's basically like I'm trying to get up a uh, a steep, muddy hill, slippery, muddy hill, wearing shoes with soles that are made out of slippery mud. Not easy. Well, you can probably hear that. It is coming down pretty good. I was just able to get the tent set up in time, get a good sight and get this tent set up in time. So more good timing. Uh, yeah, I feel pretty lucky about that. But I love being inside a tent when it's pouring rain, when it's a good, you know, I've got a good sight. Tent, tents pitch well and hopefully should stay dry as, dry as a bone, as they say. Well, I like this kilometer stone so much that I decided to just feature one today. I just think this is a real gem.